Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about Jackson library. This library is used for converting a Java object into a JSON string or JSON string into a Java object. So in real time, this conversion is called serialize and deserialize. You will be hearing these words in like uh, many people talking in other tutorials or in your job, day to day job. So, converting a Java object into J JSON string is nothing but serialize, and other way around, JSON string into the Java object is nothing but deserialize. And people also use the term called parse. Java object can be passed into a JSON string and other way around. Okay, so Jackson is one of the famous library uh, which is used for these uh, parsing and Jackson has one class called object mapper which is very 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 important. This is an object mapper class used for all the conversions. Okay, all the serializing and deserializing stuff. So to use uh, Jackson in your project, you need to have a dependency injected. So this is a dependency you can add and the version, you can take the latest version or you can use 2.9.8. Okay, and let's start uh, with taking an example. So today I'm going to use a car example. It will have two fields, one is color and type. Uh, so we can use object mapper to convert this car java object into a json string okay and as you can read here uh, or else i can walk you through uh, um, so we have a object mapper class which is from jackson so you initialize it first okay this line okay and you have initialized a car object uh, with a constructor which takes two parameters uh, basically the color and type and we create a new car object and now you want to convert into a json so what you can do is you can call the object mapper dot write value okay this write value you can provide a file which you want to create something like car.json and the car object okay here the car object and it returns a string something like this so it's that simple you just call the object mapper you provide the destination and you provide the input that's it you get the json string as output that's so simple and straightforward and if you want to like I think this one don't return a string it creates a file and saves in that but if you want a string there is one more method in the object mapper that is write value as string okay so this one you provide just provide the uh, object java object uh, pojo class and you get the string as output that, that's in a json string format and the next one now i'm going to flip things now we want to convert a json string into a java object okay you have a json string here color and type of a car okay this is a json string and now i'm using object mapper which is from jackson the same one but different api now it's a read value before write value write value as a string you need to remember this method it's very important okay uh, so object mapper dot read value so you are going to pass it json and the class um, which it's supposed to be deserialized into so you get a car object and you can use it in your project okay and if you want to uh, take the json from a file you can use this one you can give the file path and you can give the uh, pojo class name and jackson will take care of deserializing and now th these are the different um, 
formats how you can pass the file name uh, you can try that and the next one json to jackson json node okay sometimes okay sometimes if you want to uh, how i can say like you don't want to create and put your class something like like car dot class which is predefined you create a project class and you give it here sometimes you no need you just need to read a value uh, from the json okay what you do is you can use a json node basically object mapper dot read tree this is a method you are going to call read tree and give you a json and the json node dot get and what um, value you want to fetch you give you give the keys here and as text okay you get the response back okay um you can try this and next one uh if you want to get a java list from a json array string then you can also do that so you have a json which is uh, you can see here as an array now you want to convert into a um, list so you can say read value and you can give java car array and like here you provide see here you provide list of cars i'm expecting from the json and you give type reference and the list car and you get list of cars okay and there are some other ways i'm going to discuss uh, down the line if you want to uh, use java list or if you want to use uh, plain array uh, you can you can do either way as you like and you can also create a map from a json what you get so just uh, simple change you just, like before you're giving a list now you give a map so you give like the key as a string type and the value as an object it might be anything that can be object okay this way we can um, deserialize things and there are some advanced features we can go through um, so what happens is like sometimes uh, you want to deserialize and serialize only some fields um, suppose you are getting a list of values color type and year you don't want year in your uh, java object you can uh, remove or else you can uh, eliminate this json string converting into a java object without an year so the, these configurations can be set uh, using uh, the below methods configure uh, we uh, like you can specify uh, how how we want to uh, configure things and there are also sometimes you will face uh, an issue in real world something like uh, you write a code okay um, such a way let me show an example okay for example here uh, you are going to fetch car.json object like string from this file and going to convert as a car object but what happens if a new field suddenly adds in the car.json like something like uh, uh, owner of the car uh, like uh, it might be any field so if it is added while doing the deserialization you might throw like you might see an exception thrown so to avoid such cases instead of tightly coupling things you can do some loose coupling uh, using fail on unknown property you can set this configuration to object mapper and set the value as false so that way you will not have things uh, tightly coupled uh, I'm not sure whether I can use tightly coupled keyword or not but basically you, you got my point uh, later on if new fields are added in the json string um, you will not see an error in runtime okay and 
custom serialization deserialization you can see here you can uh, extend the standard serialization serializer and you can create your custom serializer and you can set the configurations here uh, so if you see there is a method serialize uh, and you can overwrite that and you can set what fields you want and write an object that way when you uh, if you see here object mapper and simple module you can send the custom card serializer and you can send the car class and new custom serializer to this module and you can see here you pass car color and uh, brand by the time we serialize it we only get the brand car brand name you don't get the color so this way you can uh, configure things same way for DC realizer as well there are some predefined steps you need to follow how to customize things in this configuration and next one there is one important concept date format how do you handle date format so you know uh, the default serialization of uh, date produces an EPCO timestamp so which is uh, number of milliseconds since January 1st 1970 which is in UTC time zone uh, so you don't want a JSON string with some random numbers who never understand until unless they convert so you need to provide uh, a human readable format um, in the JSON so if you see here you can use while you create object mapper you can uh, create a simple date formatter object and you can set that in the object mapper using set date format okay and now when you convert an object into JSON string you can see you can see here what format you want if you specify only year year month month date you only get until this part so you can uh, customize things here as well and as I said before uh, if you want to get array out of a JSON so you just say read value and give me back the array by uh, sending a uh, parameter as json car array okay so you send this json car array and you are going to specify i'm i was expecting an array see here by specifying this uh, open and close uh, brackets if you want a list you specify this way so uh, this is a basics for uh, jackson and there is a lot to explore uh, around the Jackson uh, library and uh, Jackson is there from long time and uh, Spring comes with default Jackson for serializing and deserializing uh, Java objects to JSON string and uh, I, I feel personally like I, I use Jackson in uh, all of my project and it's a solid and matured library uh, and you have a great community support as well by using Jackson library um, I hope um, this tutorial helped you at least um, to get a basic overview of what Jackson does and how you can use the library uh, in your day-to-day -day work um, uh, I think it's helpful if you like it please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much